In this video, we're going to be putting together the handlebars for our scooter. Okay, so what we've got is basically two cylinders that are stuck together with a little loft at the top. We've hollowed out those cylinders, or shelled them as we call it in Inventor, and we've put a little cut down the bottom here as well. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the file menu, make ourselves a new document, metric template and a standard millimetre part. From there we're going to start a 2D sketch and it's going to go on the XY plane. On the XY plane I'm going to grab our circle tool. Coming out of the origin we're going to create a circle that's 36.5 millimetres. Type that in and press enter. Once you've got your circle drawn finish that sketch off and I want you to extrude it. So at the top choose extrude the distance needs to be 360 millimetres. So once you type 360 mils in the box, click OK, zoom out, and you'll see you've got a nice long tube there. I want you to swing it around so it's in a vertical position. Okay, looking something like that. All right. Now we're going to create a new work plane to draw the next shape on. So I want you to go to the plane option here and select the second one that says offset from plane. Once you've selected offset from plane, Come over to your browser on the left side here, look in the origin folder, and select this XY plane. The distance that you want to type in is 360 mils, and what that's going to do is it's going to put our little work plane from the bottom of the shape right to the top. So press the green tick once you've got that, and you'll see a little orange work plane has appeared, and that's going to allow us to draw now just above or on top of our tube. Alright, so on top of that tube, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new sketch. Remember, don't click in the middle circle there. You want to click towards the edges, and your work plane should highlight with the name work plane one appearing. And click on that. That allows to draw on that new work plane. All right, we're going to draw a circle. It's the exact same size as the circle below it. So 36.5 millimeters again. Press Enter. Finish the sketch. We're just going to leave that sitting there for the moment. What we need to do now is create yet another work plane that's going to be offset from this one. So what we're going to do is choose our Offset from Plane option again. We're going to click on Work Plane 1. And in the distance box that appears, I want you to type in 40 millimeters and press Enter. And what that's done now is created this Work Plane that sits 40 mils above the Work Plane below it. Okay, so we're going to draw on this new Work Plane now. So what I'll get you to do is start a new 2D sketch and click on this top work plane, so work plane 2. Remember, wait till it highlights before you click on it. Once it's highlighted and you've clicked on it, we're going to draw two circles. Okay, so grab your circle tool, coming out of the origin. First one's going to be 20 mil, and the second one is going to be 22 mil. Once you've got those two drawn, you can finish the sketch. Okay, you can zoom in there and you can see the two circles on the top plane and then the bigger circle on the bottom plane. All right. What we're going to do now is connect those circles up using the loft feature. So we're going to click on the loft feature in our ribbon. The first section we want to add is this circle here. Okay. Hover around near the edges and when you get it selected, just click. You don't want the whole cylinder selected, so just this circle. Okay. So I've clicked on that and you can see it's highlighted in a bit of a blue shape there to show that I've selected it. I'm going to zoom in now. I don't know if you have to go underneath or not, but I'm going to click once on these circles when they highlight in white. Okay, zoom back out a little bit. You can see now we've got all our circles highlighted in blue. Alright, you may need to click on this top one one more time. So zooming in just like that, and that selects that circle. So I'm going to click OK and we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's worked as intended. So you can see that it's got from the big circle and joined up to the smaller circles above it. That's the look I was going for. All right. So we can hide these work planes now. So you just need to highlight them, right click and turn the visibility off. You can see now our little loft feature. That looks good. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a new sketch up on this top face. So start a 2D sketch and click on this top face. We're going to draw a circle coming out of that center point. It's a distance of 22 mil in diameter. 
Okay, so finish that sketch. I want you to extrude that circle now, a distance of 60 millimeters. Type in 60 and click on that circle. Press OK, zoom out, and you can see how it's looking now. All right. Uh, next thing we might do is do a shell effect on this top face. That's going to hollow it out. Okay, so up the top, where is it? Shell, there it is. Click on shell, make sure the thickness is two millimeters, and simply click on this top face. Okay, and that just starts hollowing out our tube. All right. I want you to swing our tube around to the bottom face. Click and do the same thing. Okay, and that completely hollows out our tube by removing that bottom face as well. Click OK, and you can zoom in and see now. You can see from the top through to the bottom. Okay, that should be looking good. Now I want you to turn the shape on its side here. We're going to do another sketch now. Start a 2D sketch, and we're going to do it on the YZ plane. So this one just here. It's basically going to turn our shape directly side on. And that's good. That's what we want. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the very top of our shape and zoom in. We're going to grab our circle tool and coming out of the center point here, I'm going to click and drag out a circle that is 20 mils in size. Do the same again using the circle tool. But this time it's going to be 22 mil in size and press enter. So there's something looking just like that. Finish the sketch. You can see there that we've got that little blue sketch. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to extrude this now. And we're going to do it a distance of 460 millimeters. So quite a distance. We're going to go down here and choose symmetric as the direction. And we're going to zoom in a bit here. We're going to have to click on this circle. There we go. That's what it's going to look like. You can see this is the top of our handlebar now being made. All right. So once you've got it looking something like that, you can click on OK. And just make sure that that's hollow as well. So zoom in. You can see that that is hollow. Our handlebar is attached nicely to the neck. All right, so we're almost finished now. Uh, what we're going to do is another 2D sketch. And it's going to be on the XZ plane this time. So have a look here. Now the shape's going to be side on at the moment for me. What I need you to do is just swing it around so it's in a T shape. So it looks like that, standing upright. Now from here, I just want you to zoom in a little bit towards the bottom section here. And I want you to press F7. F7 is basically going to cut our shape in half. Okay, and we can see inside our tube now. It's just going to be a little bit handier when we're drawing our shapes down here in a moment. Now the first thing we need to do is grab our line tool. And we're going to draw from one corner, so the bottom left corner over to the bottom right corner, straight across. Look for those little green circles underneath your mouse there so you can tell when you're in or right on those corners. Okay, so that's our first line that we've drawn along the bottom there. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to grab not our usual rectangle tool, we're going to get into the third option, the two-point center rectangle, and choose it. We're going to hover over this middle point here and drag up. Not very good at this. I'll zoom out a little bit. I'm going to drag up a fair way. Click. I'm going to drag out a rectangle. Okay. The width of the rectangle is just three millimeters. The height is going to be 50 millimeters. And I want you to press enter. You'll end up with a rectangle looking something like that. Now we need to dimension this rectangle. Okay. So it's level with the bottom of our shape here. So that's easy to do. Just grab our dimension tool and we need to make sure that the top of our rectangle to the bottom of our shape here is a distance of 50 millimeters. Okay, and that puts our rectangle perfectly in the center level on the bottom of our shape. All right, from here we're going to zoom in towards the top of this rectangle we've just drawn and we're going to grab our circle tool, hover around the center there and I want you to draw out a 5 mil diameter circle, something like that. Okay. Um, if you press escape now, what I'm going to get you to do is grab the trim tool. And I want you to trim off the bits inside this circle. So that bit there, 
that bit there. Now in between the rectangle here, this bottom part of the circle, you can trim that off. And that's looking pretty good. I'm going to press escape. And one more thing I'm going to do, this 50mm dimension that runs down the side, I'm just going to click on it and delete it. Okay, otherwise I won't be able to delete this line here because it's in blue and it's been dimensioned, which means it's stuck there. But if we delete this 50 mil dimension down the side just by clicking on it pressing delete, we can now go up to this line, I think, and press delete and it goes away. Okay, so basically you're left with a long rectangle shape still, but at the top we've drawn on this little circle head section. Okay, so that's the kind of shape we're looking for. If you can get that, all's well and good. Finish the sketch. Okay, and you've got that sketch down here. It's a bit hard to see at the moment. But what we're going to do is click Extrude. We're going to choose the Cut option here. And the distance, is, I'm going to change that to All. Okay, you might need to come down and click on that shape. You can just see it hiding away there. And what that does is cut straight through our handlebar tube, either side. Might need to change it to symmetric like that, so it goes either side. That's better. So make sure you've chosen this symmetric cut as well. So it goes all the way through. Click OK. So you should have two cuts now on either side. One there and one there. They should be perfectly even with each other. That looks pretty good. Alright. So that's about it for our handlebars. The last thing to do is just colour it in. Alright, so let's grab my appearance panel at the top. I'm just going to colour them in with a uh, black color that we've been using on the scooter. So I'll highlight everything by clicking and dragging over it and apply in the black cast. Close the appearance panel. That's your handlebars all done for now. There's still some grips and some little end bits we have to put on, but they will come in a different tutorial. So save that up and I'll see you in the next one.